Welcome to Centennial Hall, room 3313. My name is Allison Ray, and I'm going to show you how the MediaSite lecture capture controls work. We will begin on the Extron Touch Panel's main page. We'll begin by pressing the lecture capture button that's down here in the lower left hand corner. This brings us to the camera controls page. Now this is a preview of what the room camera sees. You have different camera presets here at the bottom to help you place the camera. One is a close-up view of the lectern. Two is a wide shot of the front of the room. And three is a shot of the teaching desk and the whiteboard. You can also use the pan tilt controls as well as the zoom controls over here on the side to position the camera where you'd like it. Zoom controls are over here on the right side, and by default it will always be set to autofocus. When your camera is positioned where you'd like it to be, go to your media site controls page. The button is down here in the lower right hand corner. Your media site controls page is where you can start and stop your recordings. At this time you'll want to turn on your microphone. Your microphones are located here in the keyboard tray. You slide it out all the way. In this back box area, there are two microphones. You can use either of them. So to turn on the microphone, I'm just going to slide this little switch to on. And on the front LCD panel, you're going to make sure that you have good battery power. And I can hear myself over the room speakers so I know that I have audio. And to use the microphone for your lectures, you'll want to clip it on your collar or your lapel as close to your mouth as you can get it. In the battery pack part, you can either put in your pocket or hold. Here on the media site preview up in the upper right hand corner, you can see this little meter is moving up and down as I talk. This lets you know that the media site is receiving your audio as well. When you arrive at the media site controls page, by default your routing will be set to camera. Video controls are for if you want to show a DVD or if you have a clip on YouTube that you'd like to show. That's when you would select video. We'll talk more about that in a minute. The device status is up in the right hand corner. Currently it says standby because we're not actually recording yet. When you do start recording, it will tell you that you're recording. When you're paused, it will say pause. And in between commands, it will say busy. The main page button will allow you to go back to the main page and change inputs easily. So for our example, we're going to go ahead and hit record. This is after you have made sure that your microphone is working and your camera is positioned the way you'd like it to be. Press record. See it change to busy, and now it's recording. And now I've decided that I want to show a video. We'll press this button to take us back to the main page. And now that we're here, we can change to any input. Currently, I have a YouTube video queued up, so I'm going to make sure that PC is selected. And now we can go back to the Media Site Controls page, and you can see that my video is showing. Because I'm showing a video, now I'll want to change the routing to video. Now what this does is it gives you a full motion video for playback. So when the student's watching the video again after class, then they can see the video in full quality. For the sake of our presentation, I will just change it back to camera now, and I'll stop my video. Now let's say it's time for a class break, for any reason that you would like to pause the recording. Down here, you press the pause button, and it will tell you that it's paused. And whenever you're ready to start recording again, you can either press the pause button again or press record. And it's recording again. Now this device status is also listed on the main page. We can go back to the main page and it's right here next to the lecture capture button. This gives you some reassurance whenever you go back to change inputs that you are still recording. So I'm finished with my presentation for the day. I'm going to go back to the lecture capture and in the media site controls. I want to stop recording for this class period. I'm going to press end recording. And this is just a prompt to make sure that you are in fact ready to stop your recording. And I'm going to say yes to confirm that I do want to end today's recording. Your status is busy. And now it's back on standby mode. So you are finished recording for the day. And once you're finished recording, you'll just close down the room as normal, and you're finished.
For more information on MediaSite Lecture Capture or with any technical problems, please contact the Eagle Help Desk.